this video I will show you how to create a simple manipulation by blending two images together. My name is Gerald and without wasting any time let's begin. So what we want to do here is to blend this image of the model with this image of the road. So if you want to follow along with me you can check in the description and download these images. So the first thing to do is to place the image of the model onto this road. So open the model's image, then click and drag. Make sure you don't release while dragging. Then point at the name of the road and then drop it here. Then the next step is to make a rough selection of the model. So pick the quick selection tool and make your selection. So you can reduce the size of the brush by pressing the left square bracket. And then make your selection. Focus more on the head. By the way, if you're wondering how I'm zooming in and out, just press the Alt key on the keyboard and roll the mouse wheel back and forth to zoom in and out. Then to subtract from the selection, still you can hold the Alt key on the keyboard and then subtract. So this will do for a rough selection. And we shall be using a layer mask, so if you have any corrections to make, you can always come back later and do it. Then, next step is to click on the layer mask button. Now double click on the hand tool to fit the image on the screen. Then pick the move tool. And let's try to move this down a bit. Yeah, somewhere here. Then press Ctrl plus T to transform it. And let's reduce the size a bit. Yeah, something like this. Then click on this check mark to place. Then our next step will be to reveal some of the hidden parts of the model's layer. So pick the brush tool and make sure your foreground color is white. Right now it's black so you can press this tiny arrow to toggle between the foreground color and the background color. So if I press this tiny arrow it's now white. So you can use the right square bracket to increase the size of the brush. Remember in layer masks when you paint with white it reveals. So you can just start painting to reveal some of these areas. Now to make it more realistic, duplicate this layer of the model by pressing Ctrl plus J and then click on the downer one and change its blending mode to hard light. Then click on its layer mask and then continue painting with white. Then reduce its opacity to around 50%. So you can see it has started to look more realistic. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video, please support me by subscribing and liking the video. It will mean the world. So let's proceed. Now for our next step, we want to match the color of the water with the color of the road. So what we have to do is to group these two layers. So hold the shift key and click on the upper layer so the two are selected. Then you can right click, then you click group from layers, then click OK. Or you could just press Ctrl plus G on the keyboard and it will do the same thing. Then click on the adjustment layers icon and then click selective color. Then make sure neutrals is selected. 
then increase the cyan to 28 percent increase magenta to negative three increase the yellows to negative 14 and leave the blacks to zero then make sure you click on this button to clip it so that it only affects the layer below which is the group so if you click this it only affects the layer below so if I turn off the selective color, you can see the before and you can see the after. So it has somehow affected the face of the model, but we wanted it to only affect the water. So remember this selective color is an adjustment layer and it has a layer mask. So you can just grab the brush tool. And this time you are going to paint with black to hide the effects from the face of the model. So when you start painting with black, you can see it's revealing what was there before. So let's decrease the size of the brush and pass it over the fingers. Yeah, so you can now see before and after. Then there's one important thing that I forgot to tell you about these values that we entered. These values could vary according to the images that you are using. Remember, this one is just a tutorial. You might want to use it on another image. So I recommend you play around with these sliders as you see the changes. So don't just cram these values. But if you are using these same images, then you can use the same values. I hope you get the point. Now let's reduce the size of the model a bit. So click on the group layer and press Ctrl plus T. Then you can just reduce a bit. Yeah, I think this is okay. And then click on this check mark to place. Now if you take a look at the entire image, you can see that the background is more in focus than the actual subject. So our next step will be to apply some blur to the background. So right click on the background layer and convert to smart object. Then click on filter, blur, then select Gaussian blur. And you increase the radius to about 5 pixels. Then click OK. Then you can come and click on the layer mask of the smart filters. Then make sure your foreground color is black and just paint the front part with black. So you can see the front is in focus and the, the background is a bit blurry. If you want to increase the blur, you can just double click here and you can increase to whatever value you want. Then hit OK. Then for our last step, scroll down and click on the first layer on top. Then press Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus E. So what this does is that it merges all these layers you have been working on. And it's here under one layer. So now you can go on and make other changes to the image. Any changes that you feel like. For example, you can just go to Image. You choose Auto Tone. Then again, go to image, choose auto contrast. So you can see the before and after. So thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Thank you once again.